Uh, they talk about remove duplicate from sorting array. So given the integer array nums, sorting num decreasing order, remove the duplicates in place such that each unique element appears only once. So uh, this description is pretty bad. I'm just jump to the demo and I will just explain what do we need to do. So you are given the nums array, right? If there's a duplicate in the array, you need to remove. So which means you, you only need to return the unique uh, integer in this array right but in this case you need to swap right you need to swap the the unique character with uh with duplicate number so if for example one right when you traverse the array right one 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 will be unique number right and this and then this one the second one will be duplicate right so you have to mark this position um to be available for the remaining integer in the array so if you have a unique character which is two and then you have to replace the uh, uh you have to replace this spot right and then for the remaining spot you, you don't actually need to care about it this is because when you want to return right you need to return the length and the length is actually uh we actually like do some process like going through a course to check if the index zero and index uh index zero and index one are actually valid or not so uh let's start coding and i would Basically, you just tell you what you, well, what you need to do. So, if num dot length is actually equal to zero, we can just uh, always return zero. And also, in this case, I'm gonna use a double pointer. So the first one is zero, and then second one will be one. So they didn't start at the same position, right? So while j is not while j is not um, I mean j is less than num dot length, right? And then I would increment every single time for the j. But if nums at i is not equal to nums at j, if they are not equal, then I can actually know uh, I can replace uh, a nums j into the i, right? But in this case, I need to increment my increment my i because I start from zero. This starts start from one, and the first integer in the array is always unique, no matter what, right? Only the second, only the second spot, which is i plus plus. I plus plus. So this will be num that i is equal to num that j. And when you want to return, right, you need to return i plus one. This is because uh, the index is starting from zero, right? And this will be the solution. And I just run it and see if I have any error or not, right? And here we go. So let's talk about time and space complexity for the time. Um, like definitely traverse all of them right uh i mean every single integer in the array so there will be all of them for the time and then for the space this will be a constant so all of them for the space and this will be the solution if you feel helpful subscribe like if you want it and then leave a comment if you have any questions and i'll see you next time bye